everybody welcome to my channel so we're kicking it off this is my wedding series so i'm going to do a whole playlist leading up to my wedding the dress shopping dress review try-ons doing walkthroughs of the venue i'll explain that later stuff like that okay i can't forget a special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times it means so much to me and i have a couple of surprises that are coming later this month as of right now because of what's happening currently and the fact that i've been unemployed for a while i haven't had as much money as i want Wanted to kind of seal the deal so there is a possibility of postponing my wedding till December of 2021 instead of fall of 2021 but right now I'm gonna try to be optimistic and I'm filming these videos as if we are in fact having our wedding this fall and not in December so I guess we could start with my engagement photo shoots I did do a whole video reviewing my dress that I wore because this is from the same seller that I got my wedding dress from so I will link that video and link her shop down below but I had the engagement dress it's actually technically a wedding dress it's beautiful I loved it having our engagement photo shoots made the whole thing feel more real because we've been engaged for two years now it made it feel more real we did take them at Central Park and I really loved it it was a sunrise shoot I think I might do a video on those photographers. They're not going to be my wedding photographers. So that leads me into the next portion of this video, which is talking about how I see my wedding going because it is a very small wedding. I am dealing with a very small budget. The average wedding costs at least $20,000 in New York City and in a lot of states. I don't think I've ever owned $20,000 in one at one point in time. I just don't come from a well-off family like that. So even that number is not feasible for me and really I don't want a big wedding anyway I can't think of more than 50 people that I would want at a wedding I don't have a lot of close friends like that so the fact that we're having a small little elopement is perfect for me because I don't like being the center of attention and I don't want to not waste but I don't want to spend all that money on just one day like I don't want to spend twenty thousand dollars on just one day because I know myself and I'm gonna want to go extra on like the desserts or like the favors that people take home that a lot of people don't even care about I know myself well enough to know that that's probably the route that I would head in so the way my wedding is supposed to go it's gonna be just a ceremony only and my parents will be attending as well as maybe my brother that's it it's gonna be a quick one done thing after that we're gonna have two hours of photography at the venue which is really just a public park that's really pretty in, in that park there's different wedding locations but the one that I chose is close to water it's like a big lake slash pond I really love that I love bodies of water I always just gravitate towards them so that's a location I chose there are other locations within that park that would be more suited to having other people at the ceremony like friends and stuff which I did contemplate but like I said, I don't want my friends just standing there after like while, after the ceremony while we're doing two hours of photography around the park. Do you know what I mean? Like if it was a venue, it's different because at that point they would be eating or doing something. It just works better to just have it be my family. I'll meet them at a restaurant. We'll have lunch. And then me and my fiance will go back to our hotel room to start our honeymoon. So I'll be having photography after the ceremony, two hours during the ceremony, as well as a videographer. And then in the morning, we're also having a photographer come to take some pictures of us getting ready. So basically, I just chose a wedding planner who has like wedding packages you can find them all over depending on how big your city is and these are just like packages where you can select any add-ons but they're just basic packages that include an officiant it includes sometimes florals or having a bridal attendant so I chose a basic package and then I added in a makeup artist hair because I'm not gonna be able to do it on my own and trying to find someone is just so irritating and annoying so my wedding planner already has like the vendors that she works with I forgot what else included oh the bouquet and like the the male equivalent of that I forgot what it is so I'll put it here but that's what's going to be included in my wedding package and the photography so it's like a total of three or four hours of photography just before and after and during and then the videographer because I, since I'm not doing a reception and I'm not doing anything crazy I figured I might as well get a videographer remember the day all that stuff so that's how the wedding's gonna go originally I wanted a reception like I wanted it at a restaurant or something and I found some very beautiful restaurants that have like that patio that nature that balcony that I love those types of things and they're easy to find in Manhattan or even in Brooklyn the problem is they're a little bit expensive uh, a lot expensive for someone who's currently unemployed like I and also I just don't connect with their menus like I'm not someone who likes fancy food I'm not someone who like plated dinners and stuff obviously if I'm invited to something I'll eat it but my type of food is like wings or pizza macaroni and cheese mashed potatoes or a bowl of chipotle like that's 
that's my comfort food like that's food that I really enjoy so it's hard when I find all these beautiful restaurants in Manhattan and like their menus and everything they offer I just I don't really like it like the portions are so tiny and fancy and I just can't relate to that type of aesthetic personally and it's a lot of money that I would be paying for food that I'm not even gonna enjoy that much so originally what I wanted to do was just a picnic reception there's some companies that'll cater it and they'll have those boards I forgot what they're called I always forget here it is and I'm sure you've seen them on Instagram everywhere so they'll do all those boards for people they'll set up like a picnic area with blankets and all these add-ons you can put to it so it'd be like $60 per person and I would invite like what 10 people but again because I lost my job in October and I haven't gotten one since and I don't have unemployment and a whole bunch of mess with that I'm not sure if I'll have enough for the for that to make that happen especially because that's something you generally book in advance so even if I get that money by let's say June or July or August if they're already booked up for that date then there's no point I don't mind not having a reception because really what I want is eating I don't want like the dancing I don't want the partying I just want like a nice dinner with my friends which could obviously still happen even if I don't get a, like rent out a room or anything the second you rent out a room for a wedding there's like a wedding tax it just costs more than it does if it's just a normal occasion so what will probably happen is the next day I'll probably go out to eat with some of my friends whoever's available and then whoever isn't I'll meet them later on throughout the week or whatever like it's not a big deal it doesn't matter I'm just excited to be married like that's really what I want to happen and that's what I'm working hardest to get the money for just to pay off the rest of my deposit and then the hotel room is going to be probably the more expensive cost because I want a nice hotel room in case that's gonna be our honeymoon because we were gonna go to a Disney World and even if we had the money for Disney World at this point there's no point because of what's happened with the pandemic I don't want to have to pay that much money when there's so many restrictions on what you can do and not just about wearing a mask because I don't mind but it's more so there's certain things that have been cut out and dining and stuff well actually at the time that I'm filming this they're starting to bring things back but again it's not worth it to me if this had been two years ago I would have been like hell yeah let's go to Disney World because I've never been to Disney World I've never been to Disneyland I've never been to any real amusement park outside of whatever you can find in New York City. A honeymoon for my fiance and I is just getting to stay home away from work. We have a great time. Like during quarantine, during the shutdown, like just being home all day together was honestly the most fun that we normally have. Like that's our type of fun. We're both very much homebodies. So I don't mind not going anywhere right away for our honeymoon. But yeah, that's basically the gist of how my wedding's supposed to go. I feel like I'm probably missing something. So hopefully it'll happen in the fall. I'm gonna do my hardest to work as hard as I can. YouTube is my only source of income currently so I'm putting my heart and soul into it and hopefully I'll get a job soon I mean I've had some interviews and stuff I just don't mention them on camera like I'm really grateful for the recommendations that a lot of people give me in the comment section I just can't update anyone yet until it's official that I got a job instead of being like oh I have an interview I have an interview I have an interview and then nothing comes out of it if you know what I mean but it's fine we'll see what happens I'm remaining optimistic like I just said so if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much I really appreciate it I will see you very soon with another video don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any requests for things you want to see let me know down below and I will see you next time with another video bye <laughs>